For now, let's get you back over to Monica tracking that new fire danger, Monica. Well, I want to make a real clear distinction here. We still have one red flag warning in effect until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now, this is the lesser of the two events that we are continuing to watch. You can see wind gusts have been anywhere from about 30 miles per hour to a little bit lower, near 20 miles per hour. But tonight, we're already starting to see those winds calm. Now, right on the heels of that, we get into this fire weather watch. This is going to be a bigger event. Starts up late tomorrow evening, lasts through Friday. We'll still be looking at some pretty warm temperatures for tomorrow in the 80s, almost 90 for some valley and hill locations, 70s along the coast and in the Sierra. And that's pretty close to where we were for today, but just a little bit cooler. So we've kind of been chipping away at those record highs that we've been seeing recently, although Fairfield up to 97 degrees today was definitely warm. And with those offshore winds, meaning those winds were pushing off into the Pacific, San Francisco hit a high of 81. 90, the high today at Sacramento Executive, much closer to the record high of 94 than, say, the average high of 76. As we look out towards the Gilmore backyard tonight, we've got clear and calm conditions. It's actually a beautiful evening to open up those windows, let in the cool air. Readings in the 60s for Sacramento, Stockton, Modesto, and Marysville, Tahoe at 40. A great opportunity tonight, by the way, to upload some photos on the ABC 10 app. You know why? In just about an hour and 45 minutes, we're going to start seeing the peak of the Orionid meteor shower. This will last until dawn, so if you're a night owl or if you have only a couple of hours of sleep <laughs> for tonight, you can catch those uh, about 20, 20 meteors per hour. Heading into the longer range forecast, especially tomorrow into Thursday, we get into this critical fire weather pattern with that low off to the east, high pressure building in the west. And so that's going to get us a much larger area with higher fire dangers. You can see with our forecast models a lot more in red there than, say, this last weather event. The peak of this will be on Thursday, and then things will start to quiet down on Friday. In the meantime, in the Sierra, highs in the 70s tomorrow, 83 for Auburn, Pollock Pines, 78, Sonora at 82 degrees. Much cooler weather ahead as that low impacts us with cooler conditions. Slight chance of showers for the Sierra. Highs will be dropping into the 50s by Sunday for the high country. 70s along the coast, 60s for San Francisco, 90s as we start to head inland towards Fairfield. Not as many 90s throughout the valley, but we're certainly going to be warm. Mid 80s to near 90 tomorrow afternoon and again late tomorrow evening. We'll start to see those winds pick up and it's going to bring us our highest fire danger of the week on Thursday. But temperatures will be cooling. We'll be in the 70s and that'll last all the way through the weekend.